Hello and welcome to another day of classes. Today we're going to be continuing with the Interchange 5th edition level 1 book, the Red Book. And we're going to start with the language summary or the, or the vocabulary for the Unit 9. Okay, let's get started. For this class we have a lot of words. We're going to start with nouns. We have appearance. The appearance is how does a person looks like. Like... This is the appearance of this woman. This is the appearance of this man. You know, this uh, turtleneck. Um, this is the appearance of this man that has a blue shirt. Appearance. Okay. App or application. It's the software or a computer program for your cell phone. An app or application. An astronaut. I think that you understand what is an astronaut. Beard. Beard is the facial hair that goes from this part of your face, basically. And it's usually on men. Belt. This is a belt. A cap. This is a cap. A celebrity. It's someone that is famous for either movies or uh, music. For example, we have music with Pharrell Williams. We have uh, with the movies. He's an actor. Is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. And some other people. Oh, look, Hulk Hogan. Okay, centimeter. A centimeter is an unit of distance. That it's basically this, this size. And we have centimeter, millimeter, cent uh, and decimeter. Okay. Decimeter are ten centimeters, and a centimeter are ten millimeters. Contact lenses. These are the type of lenses that you put directly on your eyes and not like glasses. A couple. A couple is a pair of two. A couple can be uh, a couple of persons like these two people that are um, in a relationship. But you can also have a couple of, um, I don't know, cups, a couple of cups. And that means that you have two. Couple means two, basically. Height. The height is the, the distance from the floor to a place, basically. It's like the height of a per of this person, they are measuring it, basically. You can be, I don't know, six uh, inches high, and this is the height of you. How long are you from here to here? That's the height, okay? We have hipster. A hipster is someone whose fashion choices and music interests fall outside the mainstream, what is popular. Instead of, in, instead of following popular trends, hipsters generally favor alternative lifestyles, progressive politics, and quirky, and quirky clothing. It's basically people that doesn't want to go as the popular things and want to dress and be different. Uh, but it's kind of ironic because hipster became popular a couple of, a couple of years ago. So everybody was hipster become mainstream. So it's like it stopped being hipster at that moment. It's really funny. But okay, this is hipster. They are hipster people. It's a type of clothing and stuff. Okay, and here we have an inch. There are two different measure systems. We have the imperial system, that is the ones that use inches, and we have the uh, metric system, that is the one that use centimeters. Basically, one inch, it's the same as 2.54 centimeters, and you can say it the other way around. One centimeter is 0 0.3937 inches. Here in Dominican Republic, we use both of them in different situations, because usually when we are talking about height, we use inches. Oh, I'm 5'11. Oh, I'm 5'10. Oh, I'm, five, I'm six, 6 inches, and that's it. But for other things, we measure with centimeters, so it's kind of weird. Usually in the rest of the world, uh, they use uh, centimeters, but in the United States, they use inches. Okay? Jersey. Jersey is this type of shirt, a jersey. Length. Length is the distance from an end to an end, from one point to another, and describe how long, 
how long a shape is. For example, the length of this guitar is the distance from here, that is the starting one end, and here, that is the other end. Okay. A meter. A meter is 100 centimeters, and this is part of the metric system. Outfit. An outfit is a set of clothes worn together, especially for a particular occasion or purpose. When you have your shoes, uh, your pants, and your sweater, or whatever you have on, that is your outfit. And you can have different outfits. Like, this maybe it's to go out, this maybe it's for a wedding, this maybe it's for be with friends, casually, and all of that. Psychologists. The psychologists are the professionals that help you deal with um, not mental problems, but um, things that may have you, that you may have traumas in your past and they work with you to solve them, basically. They help you with your mind, the psychologist. We should all go to a psychologist. Streetwear. Streetwear is the type of clothing that it's used for, uh, in urban places. It's like a type of fashion that is urban. A guest. A guest is a person that comes for a time. Maybe a per uh, you have an uncle or an aunt that is visiting your house and it's gonna stay for, I don't know, five, six days. Then that person will be your guest. When you go to a hotel, you don't stay there forever. So, well, you are on the hotel, you're a guest. Let's see some adjectives. Baggy. Baggy is the type of uh, pants that are like with a lot of space in between them. You know, you see like it, this is hanging. This is baggy. Baggy pants. Bald. Bald is when you have no hair. A bald woman, a bald man, a bald child. It's kind of weird. But it's not so. Blonde. Blonde is when your hair is this type of color. Yellow. Or golden. Boho. Boho chic is a style of fashion drawing on various bohemian and hippie influences. It's like the type of clothing that is like free and, and you know, this type of clothing. This is boho. Boho dress, a boho dress, you can say. A boho outfit. Casual. This is a type of uh, clothing, casual, you know, using jeans, something like this. Classic. Classic is the style of, well, these are classic colors for maybe for jobs. This, the blue, the gray, the black. Classic is reminiscent of the past, something that was the usual a long time ago. Comfortable. This place looks comfortable. Comfortable is when you feel good where you are. Curly. Curly is a type of hair. This is curly hair. These all are types of curly hair. Dark. Dark is like something close to black. For example, you can say that she has dark hair, dark eyes, or dark skin, basically. Elderly. Elderly is reminiscent of the old people. People that are from a... a like, a, they have a long time living. Maybe they are 60, 70, 80 years old. They are elderly. Flattering. Full of praise and compliments. Flattering is someone that is something like saying a lot of good things. Oh, you're elegant, you're breathtaking, you're radiant. It's flattering. Okay, floral. It's that has a lot of flowers. Floral. Flowy. Flowy is the type of dresses that have like a lot of space that can move. It's like it flows. Flowy. Khaki. Khaki is a type of color. And this, this color. Khaki. Handsome and good-looking. Let's see. Basically, there are both ways to say a guy is attractive. Handsome meaning more mature looking, while cute means the guy has a joyful, a joyful look. Good-looking is just a general term to describe anyone that is physically attractive. Basically, you say handsome to men that look mature. You can say that Hugh Jackman is handsome. Cute, you can say it to... Uh, to a man as well, but it means that it's like 
youthful, that is not uh, that is young. For example, you can say that you Jackman is handsome, and you can say that uh, Zac Efron is cute. But this is an old photo. And good looking is basically to anyone that looks good. Hugh Jackman is good looking. Uh, Zac Efron is good looking. I don't know. So Saldana is good looking. National Avocado is good looking. Anything. Leather. Leather is a type of material that it comes from the skin of animals. This is a leather jacket. Long. This pencil is not long. This pencil is long. But you can also call this short. This pencil is short. This pencil is long. We have short. That is really close, you know, it's not so long. Medium. Medium size. Medium. And long. Short. Medium. And long. Middle aged is the people that they are not considered young, but they are not considered elderly yet. Because they are in the middle age, maybe like 40s to 50 years old. In the 40s and the 50s. Young. These are the people that are young. Maybe um, eight, um, from the 20s, 30s, those people are young. Pastel. Pastel is at our types of clothes. These colors are, for example, this is pastel yellow, blue, uh, pastel blue, and all of that. Pretty. Pretty is something that it's good looking, looks good. Preppy. Of, of or typical of a student or graduate of an expensive prep school, especially with reference to their style of dress. Preppy, you can use it to call this type of clothing, this style of outfits. These are preppy people. Rude. Rude is when you have no matters, when you act in a bad way and disrespecting other people. That is rude. Skinny. Skinny is not heavy. It's not a person with a lot of a uh, body, like a lot of space in the body. It's just uh, like not too much on her body. Skinny. Straight. This is the type of hair that is not curly. That is there is no other thing is straight. Tall. This person is short. This person is tall. Trendy. Trendy is that is following the popular things. Maybe this type of hair and makeup it's trendy now. Let's see some verbs. Control. Control is when you mm, operate other people. It's when you uh, tell them to do what you want. To control something is to make use of it. For example, you can control your phone. You take it, you use it however you want, but you are the one moving it. Okay? Describe. To describe is to specify each one of the things about something. Maybe you are talking about a person. Oh, that person is creative, but he's dumb, and he's sober, he likes to go out, so it's outgoing. You're describing the person. Learn. Learn is when you're, for example, what you're doing right now. You don't know something, so you're looking for information, and then you start to get to know that for the rest of your life, or for a couple of minutes at least. When you watch these videos about um, uh, grammar and vocabulary, you're learning English. Orbit. A path of an object of a uh, object that is cir that it circles around another object in other space to orbit is to go around a place for example the moon it's orbiting the earth and earth is orbiting the sun to wear to wear is when you are putting the clothes on you for example you can wear a blue um a blue a blue polo shirt, I was forgetting the name. Uh, and you're wearing khaki pants. And you're wearing some shoes. Compare. To compare is when you look at two things, do different things, and you say, what difference have they? For example, this apple is more green than this apple. And you're, I am comparing these two apples. Let's see some adverbs. We have fairly. 
Barely basically means exactly, just enough, not too much, not too little. We can say that fairly is that. United Nations observers made sure that the election was conducted fairly. It's not like they went to more, more for one candidate or the other. It's just exactly, not too much, not too little. He is fairly tall. He is quite tall, but not very tall. My mother says that her family was fairly poor when she was growing up. They were poor, yes, but not like too much poor. He visits us fairly regular these days. He visits us a lot, but not too much, basically. We have pretty. Pretty, it's basically like a lot, but not extremely. It's just like a good amount, a really good amount, but it's not like obsessive. It's not... And, and like way too much. It was pretty quiet at the party. Our visit to the museum was pretty interesting. It was like, it was really, really interesting, but not like too much. Sally was pretty shocked at the news. The weather was pretty bad. We didn't enjoy it much. Okay. And the last one is so. So it means a lot, like really, really a lot, to such a great extent. So it's basically to say too much, a lot. But it can be in a good way or in a bad way, depending on how you use it. The house is so beautiful. It, mean, it means that the house is really, really, really beautiful. Thank you for being so patient. You have been really patient. Don't be so stupid. I didn't know she had so many children. There is only, there you can only do so much to help. There is a limit to how much you can help, basically. Okay, let's see some prepositions. Behind, no, this is behind. The alien is behind the door. In, in you can use it for your clothes, like for example, you are in jeans, you are in a black t-shirt, you are in a shirt. And you can also use it for the range of ages. For example, you know that from 20 to 29, you can say your 20s. From 30 to 39, you can say your 30s. From 40 to 49, you can say your 40s and so on and so on. You can say you are in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s, in your 60s, in your 70s, in your 80s, in your 90s and so on. Okay? If you get to 100, it's like, you know, on your 100, in your 100s, in your 110s, but uh, then it becomes really confusing, and usually the people don't live that much. But yeah, you can use in for these things too, for clothes and your range of ages. Next to, the ball is next to the box. On, the couch, on the couch, you are touching the thing. To the left, to the right of, on the left side of, it's on the left, you know, this side, and on the right side of is on this side, okay? With, you can use with to say what is accompanying something, and you can use it for descriptions, like with brown hair, with white skin, or with light skin, more, more so to say, because this is not white, this is light. Okay, we're gonna come back, actually we're not gonna come back here because it's the same grammar as the book, so we're just gonna continue with the book for now, okay? Let's start with the unit 9, with the book. What does she look like? Today we're gonna be talking about describing the people's physical appearance, and in the next video we're gonna be identifying people by describing how they look and what they're doing, okay? But for now, we're gonna start with the word power that is physical appearance. Some things that we can use to describe the physical appearance of people. We have hair, age, and looks. Let's see. For the hair, we have long brown hair. Because the, the hair is long, you know, it gets to a really long place. And the color is brown. We have short blonde hair. It's really short. And the color is blonde, as we saw before. A straight black hair. You can see here that the hair is straight, it's not curly or something. And the color is black, straight black hair. Poorly red hair. This color of the hair, we usually refer it to red, okay? 
and these are people who are called gingers. And if you could see, the hair is curly, so it's curly red hair. He is bald, has no hair. A mustache and a beard. This is also hair. The mustache is this part right here, just below the, no the nose, and the beard is right this. Okay? These are all of the things that you can say with hair. We have with age, young, that is a small, that is like a kid. We have middle-aged, that is 40s, well, 30 somethings, 40 somethings. And elderly, like 70s, 80s, 60s, 90s, this is just elderly, as we saw before. We have the looks, he is handsome, they are good looking, and she is pretty. If you say he is pretty, will be rude or will not be correct. And if you say she is handsome, that will also be incorrect. Handsome for men, pretty for a woman, and good looking for both of them. You can say that he is good looking, and you can say she is good looking. Both of them are correct. Oh, we're missing one more. We have height. Height, remember, it's the distance from one point to another. Usually used with people to talk about how tall are they. He is short. Here, his height is short. He is fairly short. It's just a bit short, but not too much. You remember fairly? Medium height. is not tall. It's not short. It's just in the middle. She's medium height. Okay? Pretty tall. It's like really tall, but not too much. Pretty tall. And he is very tall. He really is tall. If you compare this man to this man, you can see quite the difference. Okay, very good. Very good. Now... We're gonna be listening to a conversation, it's called She's So Pretty, and here we're gonna be listening to a, a description of a person. Pay close attention to both of these, because here we're gonna start to see how do you describe people, and this is basically the grammar for today, okay? So, let's listen. Unit 9. What does she look like? Page 59. Exercise 2. Conversation. She's so pretty. Part A. Listen and practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name's Tiffany. She's really smart, and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. Okay, very interesting. You see, he was describing his girlfriend, so he was giving a lot of details. Like, she asked, how does, what does she look like? Oh, she's pretty tall. She's about five foot ten. She's, uh, she has beautiful brown hair, and they, she asked for, like, his age, her age, and how old is she. Let's listen to the rest of the conversation, and then tell what else did you learn about Tiffany, okay? Let's listen. Page 59. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else do you learn about Tiffany? So, you don't know her age? No, but I don't really care. Okay. Well, how old do you think she is? Who knows? I think she's in her 30s. And how old are you? I'm 29. Oh, cool. So she's older than you. Okay, very good. So, what did we learn about Tiffany now? Let's see. We learned that T Tiffany is probably in her 30s, and that Tiffany is older than Justin. Why? Because Justin is 29 years old, and Tiffany is in her 30s, so minimum she is 30 years old. Remember? 30 to 39 is the 30s. 40 to 49 is the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, etc. Okay, now let's go right to the grammar focus. And for today, we're going to be seeing how to describe people in different ways. 
here we have a way to describe the general appearance, something general, just saying some, some things. Okay, if they ask, what does she look like? You can say, oh, she's tall, she, with brown hair, and she's pretty. Or you can say also, she uh, she's short, with blonde hair, and she's really elegant. That's another way to describe her. Another specific question can be, does he, if it's a man, does he wear glasses? No, he wears contacts. This is a way to describe the general appearance. But we can go to a specific parts like height, hair, and age. Let's see, for men, for a uh, woman and men, okay? How tall is she? You can say she's 1 meter 78. This is the metric system here, we see. 1 meter 78. She's 5 foot 10. This is the imperial system, the US system. It's 5 foot 10. Okay, how tall is he? You can also say he is medium height. If you don't know the specific uh, height of the person, you can say, oh, he's medium height, he's tall, he's short, okay? For the hair, we can say, how long is her hair? You can ask her for that. It's pretty short, it's long. Oh, it's, it's medium, it's not so long, okay? What color is his hair? It's dark, light brown. It's dark brown or it's light brown or it's red, she dyed it, or it's, yeah, it's red, you can say that. It's dark, it's light. Eight, how old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s, she's in her 40s, she's in her 50s. How old is he? He's in his 20s, because he's 29, or 29 years old, so he is in his 20s. Okay, very good. And as I was saying, you can say the heights in different ways. Tiffany is 5 foot 10. Tiffany is 5 10. Tiffany is 5 foot 10 inches tall. Or Tiffany is 5 10. Okay? And you can also say Tiffany is 1 meter, 1 meter 78 tall. Tiffany is 1 meter 78. Or Tiffany is 178 centimeters. And how do you describe people? You basically say, all of the informa all of this information, okay? So can you describe, I don't know, your uh, your friend that is a woman? Okay. Well, she is tall, exactly. She's one meter seventy-eight centimeters. Uh, she has brown hair. It's it's pretty short actually. It's uh, pre uh, short brown hair, and she is about I don't know twenty-six years old. Okay. She doesn't wear glasses, uh, but she wears contacts. And she is a really, really beautiful person. Right there, I just describe a person by going through height, hair, age, and all of this. Okay? And if you notice, depending on how you make the question, it's that you get the answer. If we ask for how tall, then obviously we're talking about height. If we are talking about how long the hair, then we're talking about if it's short or large or long. And here we have, we're asking about the color. What color is his hair? So we're asking about the color. How old is she or is he? We're talking about the age, okay? What does she look like? It's a question to ask for anything, basically, for a general description. She's tall, with brown hair, and she's pretty. That's it. And does he wear glasses? That is a specific question. Maybe you can say, does she wear earrings? Does, does he wear a belt? And you say, yes, no, etc. Okay, let's see. Well, let's do a small exercise. You're going to write questions to match these statements. Uh, okay, so if they ask you, if they tell you, oh, my father is 52. What was the question for this? How old is your father, for example? because you're talking about the father of another person, okay? So take your time to complete each one of these using this type of questions, what you can use, and adapt it to each one of the things. Because, you know, if we're talking about the cousin, ask for the cousin. If you're asking, talking about the father, ask for the father, okay? So take your time, and when you finish, we continue. Okay, you finished? Let's check. For the number one, how old is your father? My father is 52. Very good. Number two, 
How tall are you? Oh, I am 167 centimeters or 5 foot 6. Number 3. What color is your cousin's hair? Or what color hair does your cousin have? These are two ways to ask the same question. My cousin has red hair. Number 4. Does he wear glasses? No, he wear contact lenses. Number 5. What does he look like? He's tall and very good looking. Number 6. How long is your sister's hair? My sister's hair is medium length. Okay, and the last one. What color are your eyes? Or what color eyes do you have? I have dark brown eyes. Okay, very good. I hope that you understand this part. Okay, let's do one last activity. In this time, this time it's going to be a listening. You're going to be listening to the description of these six people. And you're going to have to number everyone there from one to six. And also put the names, okay? So, listen closely. And when you finish, we're going to check the answers. Page 60. Exercise 4. Listening. Which one is Justin? Part A. Listen to descriptions of six people. Number them from one to six. One. I think Chris is good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and he has a beard. I think he's about 30. Two. Courtney's 18. She has blonde hair, shoulder length and straight, and she always wears interesting hats, just for fun. 3. Victoria is pretty tall for her age. She has curly red hair and always wears a baseball cap. She just turned 10. 4. Justin's in his 20s. He's fairly short and wears glasses. His hair isn't very long. 5. Mark is middle-aged. He's going bald and has a mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears a leather jacket. 6. Hannah is very tall and she has long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. I don't think she wears glasses, but I'm not sure. Okay, very good. If you need to listen again, because this can be a little bit tricky, you can go back in the video and listen again. Okay, so now let's check the answers. Okay, we have it like this. The number one is this person. Number two, it's this person. Number three, you maybe be confused with this and this because she say, oh, she's really tall for your for her age. And you, oh, she's tall. So it's, her. nope. It's because she is 10 years old. So for a 10 years old, she is quite tall, actually. Okay. Then four, it's him. And five, him. And for the last one was this person. Okay. Very good. I hope that you liked the video of today. Tomorrow we're going to be continuing with some other uh, topics about descriptions. But for, day, for today, that's it. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you in the next time.